a good puppy you are. You're so good. Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be giving this puppy his first haircut. He's four months old. He's a cotton de Tulier. <laughs> Hi. Now the owners have trimmed by his eyes there a little bit. And uh, I washed and dried him. He's all combed out and nice and fluffy. He looks cute like that, but the owner wants an easier uh, you know, clip on him to maintain at home. So I'm going to give him his first puppy cut. So I don't know how he's going to react, but let's give it a whirl. I'm going to be using my Bravora because they're they're much more quieter than a regular clipper. I mean, they still make noise, but not as much noise as my uh, the walls uh, KM10s would make. And the wall does have uh, this comb attachment that you can attach to this clipper, which is awesome because I want to get a really long length on the coat. So I am going to try to number C. It's 7 eighths of an inch, 22 millimeters. And this comb just slips on this blade here. And I'm going to turn the blade. This blade is adjustable. I'm going to turn it right to the 40 to give it a nice cut. Now these ones are a little bit harder to get on, but you just got to slide them on right to the end. There we go. Can leave a nice long clip. All right, let's see how the puppy does. All right, so I got this puppy on this uh, small dog table. It's really nice. It fits on top of the regular grooming table. If you can see it, I will show you later. But anyways, it's awesome it's for small dogs so they don't go all the way to the back of the table. I'm just training him to go on this table, which he's doing pretty good right now. So his hair is all combed out. And I'm going to see if this goes through the coat. Now, I've already um, showed him the clipper. Look, he doesn't even care. What a nice dog. I think I'll keep you. So we're still keeping it on the longer side, but just taking off some, some length. Oh, and that looks nice. It's okay. What a good puppy. Yes. Did you get a nice treat after? Mm hmm. I love working with puppy coats. So nice. Oh, I see there's a little piece there that I'll fix up afterwards. So with the puppy, um, you know, I'm going to do what I can. I don't worry about it being like super even all over. I just I basically get off the ball and trim around the feet. If the puppy's really good and just lets me do whatever, I'll just Continue, but they put up a fuss. I turned it off by accident. Then I'll stop. Front legs are usually harder than the back legs. It's okay. All right, so we got that much done so far. Come here. Let's get some of the front done. And this little table comes with its own arm and groom loop. I like it. Good puppy. Yes. It's okay, I know. I know, what's taking your fur off, huh? Well, these clippers, by the way, only go through clean, clean hair. They don't really go through thick hair. Like, you wouldn't want to do a, what are you doing there? You wouldn't want to do a copper spaniel with these clippers. It has to be comb, or clean, combed out, and not too thick. I guess I'm just going to lift up its ear. Let's see if I can get some of this by the neck. I know. They don't like the noise by their ears. There we go. I'll get up what I can. Not a good dog. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to trim around his feet. I've already done the nails, I've already done the pads, and he just stood there. Oopsie. Don't be moving. I just go right around. I don't make it perfect for the first time. And it's puppy hair, so it's kind of hard to work with sometimes. There we go. Come on. Oh, you're pulling way over there. No, no, no. See, if he was on my bigger table, he would be way over there by the wall. So I'm just trimming like a, a V shape. The behind, sorry you can't see it, but I didn't move the camera. 
I just want to get him done. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Alrighty, so I'm just going to take a little bit off the legs. I just can't seem to get the clippers under there. And I want him to have a good experience, so I'm just going to do what I can for the first time. Say, 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 say. Go ahead, doggy. Just making that round. It's okay. Yeah, he's still going to have lots of hair. Lots and lots of hair. The puppy's hair grows so fast. Oh, I found a little knot. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get that off of your chest. I'm just going to lift this leg up. No, no, no. I know you want to smell it. Okay. Can I do your belly? Okay. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. There we go. Stand up. Stand. That's a good stand. Now my other hand is underneath his belly. I'm holding his uh, private parts. I wouldn't want to nick them. Yep, and I'll get all that later. Just getting the bulk off. See if you'll let me do the leg a little bit. There we go. That's very good. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, wait. Stay there. Look at He's doing so good. He's just standing there. Stand up. Make sure you're in the camera. I'll back this up a bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm holding his private area. I'm just going to trim under there. Okay, do it. A quick clip. Yeah, this is all messed up, and I don't, I don't worry about um, hairs that are uneven or choppy. It doesn't matter at this point, anyways. Oh, they got a hair on your peepee there. Always the next time you can get it next time. If he lets me get it at the end, when I do the fine tuning all over, then I will. <laughs> well, there's one side anyways. But I do want to fix that up over there if I can. Okay, right, now I'm going to do the head. I went ahead and did the other side off camera because I just wanted to get it done a little bit quicker instead of moving my camera every five minutes. So I'm just going to use the same blade that I used for the body on his head as well. Sometimes. They don't like the head, obviously, the first time, but they don't like the noise. Oh, I'm letting him smell the clipper. There we go. Yeah, it's just a clipper. It's just going to cut your hair. That's all right. Yeah. Let me try underneath here. <laughs> what a good puppy. He is a good puppy. Let me try on top now. Sometimes I do a little bit on top and then a little bit on the bottom. Or a little piece here, a little piece there. Oh. You're not going to let me, are you? Okay. Okay. See, this is going to be crooked. This is going to be <laughs> crooked. You can have a crooked head. Yes, you are. Where are you going? All right. So what I'm going to try is... I'm going to try his bangs. Okay. Come here. I'm just going to hold his nose. And puppies don't like that because they're not used to it. There we go. It's okay. It's all right, it's, it's okay, come here. There, you have to see. You couldn't see before. There, at least I got some done. There, it might not be the greatest haircut the first time, but it doesn't really matter. It's only hair, it doesn't have to be perfect. No, 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 let me see. All righty, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get the thin and shears. All right, so I'm going to use the thinning shears between his eyes because the uh, it's a little bit safer than using the sharp shears. Mm -hmm. It's just by your eyes. That's it. So I'll just cut a little bit out. No, no, no. Stay. What, do you want to smell them? Well, you can't lick them. No. <laughs> okay, I'll let him smell them. It's closed. He can't hurt himself. Okay. There we go. Well, got a little bit. 
I got a little bit. Got some hair. There we go. There we go. Let me just try. Good boy. I'll just get a little bit at that corner and then you're good to go. You gotta be quick near the eyes. I don't wanna poke them. He's not gonna have the best haircut today. Maybe the scissors would be better. They're less noisy. Come here. No, no, come. Oh, yeah. There. Come here, come here. I'll try to hold his chin. You're gonna have a very uneven head today. It's okay, at least he gets used to the grooming. All right, so I gave him a break and he actually go, had to go potty, so maybe he'll be a little bit better now, I don't know. I just wanna see if I can do a few swipes under his chin. So really slow. There we go. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. And get your nose a little bit. There we go. Okay, come here. Alright. Good enough for today, right? For your first time, right? Yay. Fix this up a little bit. Wow. What a difference. What a difference, eh? Wow, like a new dog. A brand new dog. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. You're gonna get upset. I want you to get upset for your first haircut, right? There, much better. What a good boy. He's a good boy. Hi. Good boy. Yes. There you go. What a good puppy for your first grooming. Yes. Now he was uh, bathed and you know, I brushed out at the breeders and this was his first haircut and generally if the dog's never been groomed by the breeders or bathed or anything like that, I will sometimes just bathe them and blow dry them the first time. It depends on their age, but you want to get them used to it uh, before you go right into the haircut. But if the puppy's really good, you can always try a haircut and she's really good just, just with the face, but he's okay now. Don't need my scissors. Okay, I just <laughs> he just wants to see everything. Don't want you sniffing the scissors because I want you to cut your nose, right? I don't want you to cut your nose. So, anyways, he looks, you know, not too bad for his first time. His head is a little bit uneven and under his chin, and I'm not gonna really mess with um, on this grooming. But you know, the next grooming, the one after, he'll get a lot better. There's some chop marks there, but. He is a cotton, so his hair is like cotton. It's very hard to get straight anyways. But since being a puppy and, you know, you don't have to worry about all the little marks in the hair. So always try to make it uh, a good experience for their first time because they're going to have to be groomed all their lives. All right, come here. Are you getting fussy again? Just want to comb you. Well, not too bad, eh? There. Here we go. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the table that he's sitting on as well. So this is the little table that I put the puppy on. I use this for my small dogs. I just recently got this table and I really like it. It's not heavy at all. It's very light and this will turn. If you want to just turn your dogs instead of, uh, you know, turning the dogs around on the table, you can just turn this around. There, I don't want to keep going because it's his first time. I don't want to get him scared and it comes with a grooming arm as well. So there's the grooming arm and it comes with this loop which sometimes I think it's a little bit too long but you can just tie it up up there and it will fit the little dog. You're so cute! Yeah so overall it's a nice it's a nice table you can put it anywhere you can put it on your grooming table or countertop um, whatever you like. So I want to thank you very much for watching Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, you can ask me down below in the comments. 
and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next video bye bye